Hi. Hello and welcome. Hi, hi. Hey, Ted. How are you? Hi. I'm good. Having a bad headache, but other than that, I'm That's good. That's okay. Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. We're back. The Get an Air Now Show. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Yay. Your weekly dose of spirituality. Um, Hypnotherapy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> A bit <laughs> wordy. <Sorry. laughs> um hypnotherapy life empowerment manifestation because we didn't Ooh. talk about that yet no that's not true but um <laughs> that's not true <laughs> sorry we are just um a bit giggly and we were thinking what are we going to talk about this week um so we resolved to talk about um, doing good. Doing good. What does that mean? Mean. Oh, main. Main is man. like Dutch. The yeah, that's man. that's the. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> what does that doing good? I'm just going back. <laughs> doing good. What does that mean? Yeah. Not only to the other person, but also to yourself. Exactly. And do we so only if, do good to help others or do we do good to help ourselves or to feel good as well? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, tomorrow we have 11, 11, 22. Hmm. Mm. Angel numbers everywhere. Ooh. Okay. So <laughs> if you like what we do, just follow well of course like and then yeah follow share sharing the, is caring the, the the hit the uh yes that one that was click a good the one. bell <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we were talking cats we were just yeah. before yeah yeah about doing good doing good you know it I just <laughs> thought of something while you did the introduction because some people are doing good because they want to show everyone how great a person they are. Yep. So they're not really doing it. They have a, what's it called? An expectation. They, they, they're doing it because they want to be seen as good people. Yeah. Um. So if I'm going to help uh, the old lady carry her bags, I'm not only doing it to help the old lady carry her bags and to help her get to her car or her house or anything easier. I'm doing it for everyone to see that I am the one carrying her bags. Yes. Good on me. Um. And is that wrong, or is it? Because the old lady benefits from it still. Um, yeah. But the feeling I will have inside, I think, will be like, it won't be as... Genuine? Yeah, I wouldn't be as fulfilled as I would be if I just did it because I wanted to help her. But do you... Is that like a, a conscious pro, a process in your mind that you see that lady and that you... Uh, Look around, like oh, there's there's a lot of people. Let, let me help her so that they I can think see some me. Some people are Is like it... that. I actually know some people that are like that. Oh, who would that also must be say, so... yeah, but who would also say if if they were to ask um, someone a favor and they would be like, well, I can't or I won't. I am doing so much to help you, so why can't you? So that makes the person being asked feel like they are wrong for not helping but that yeah. person still have their boundaries and their and the feeling of well are you really only helping me to get a favor yeah or that's it you help yeah. me back then just because you wanted to that it doesn't feel like it it feels like you just helped me to have something in return yeah 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 that's what i was wondering indeed because 
I don't know, here in the Netherlands, I often have the feeling that if you do something for someone, that mm. indeed they want something in return. Yeah. And for me, that's ridiculous. If I do something for someone, I do it because I want to and exactly. because it helps them. Yeah. And yeah, if they want to do something for me, fine. Mm. I'm good with that. Mm. But it's not necessary. No, so is that then the same the same thing? I don't know. I'm 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 thinking mm, maybe I do get it a little like if you're giving and giving and giving and you feel like you aren't getting anything in return at some point some people I know that there are people who who, who doesn't care and still go on and are filled with love and grace and la 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 I'm not one of those super people yet. Um, oh. <laughs> but, but at some point you might feel like, well, hey, why don't they want to do something to help me or to make me happy? Um, the difference, I think, is when people say, why can't you help me? I'm helping you a lot, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. When they say it in a negative tone instead of, I'm wondering. I, I feel like I give you a hand when I can, but I'm wondering, is it something with me or is it just because you don't have the time or are you feeling well? Don't you have the energy to do it? It could, it could be about the other person and not yourself. So. Yeah, true. I'm curious. But then you would have to take the time to, to consciously think about it and also yeah talk about it in that way and i think that is quite difficult i think so yeah because you the, the one that feels like they're giving all the time would have i presume a feeling of hurt and that makes it more difficult yeah. to to contact the one well that i can relate to that because i have always when someone was in need or is in need i mm. I've always been there. And then sometimes I feel that I am in need. And um, then it's like, uh, then, then there's nobody. Well, that's, yeah. that's a bit general. general yeah, yeah. But it um, feels like it. Generalized it feels sense. like, yes, that one. It, <laughs> it feels like there's, there's nobody yeah. that wants to help me. I Especially always have if to you're be in a there bad for everybody. Place as well. Sorry? Especially if you're in a bad place as well. Yeah. If you're not only just wanting to have something painted, but if you're just yeah. feeling sad or yeah. Yeah, for me it's actually more um I think like physical or practical things. I am I don't don't need so much help with because I can do most of it myself. And if not, I'm just yeah. I just learn, yeah. but it's more, sometimes I have um, so many questions and mentally it's, it's sometimes just hard, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. Even, even us coaches and spiritual people are not uh, immune to uh, overwhelm and burn yeah. out and uh, no. what, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then it's just, I I find it sometimes difficult to find people, well, you are the exception, but to find people, yes. Can't wait that, to hear what that, you're going to that say. Are, you know, that are on the same page as me and that mm. would understand my struggles. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I don't know. That. You know, it's, it's like, I don't know if if normal people have that as well <laughs> am i not normal no we are not normal <laughs> we're not shit I yeah yeah so. there you go thinking okay. that you are normal forget it girl i've never thought that true yes i've always known i'm the yeah. weird one yeah yeah but yeah, it's but interesting or other okay let's say other people i i i would like yeah, to know how mean? other people find that yeah me too 
Hmm. But it's also, for me, we talked about before we did this, we started this episode, we talked about that I received a, a gift, a money gift for um, from a, what's it called, Anna? Come on. Um, um, a woman I'm in a study group with. Yeah. Just got to know a her. Study buddy. Study yeah, buddy. Study buddy. I just got to know her this summer. And we went on a course together and the course has now ended and we're going to start again next year. But I couldn't start uh, because I didn't have the money. And then we talked about it and she just out of the blue said, well, I'll lend you the money. And then immediately I had the feeling of, I would love to borrow the money, but what if I can't live up to her expectations about lending the money what about what if she wants a certain amount what if she wants it back in within six months what if what if what if what what if so i weren't ready to receive the gift that she wanted to give me yeah but i was clever <laughs> I, <expressed> my <laughs> I told her how i felt i told her that i wouldn't be able as uh, as of now how things are at the moment a car short, we need another car, the energy crisis, everything. Without a job, I have my coaching hypnotherapy business, but I don't have a day job. Like No, and it's not a stable stable no, income. No. So I, I couldn't tell her when to to pay her back, so I said, said I would think about it. Um, where was I? What was my point in saying all this? Um, well, <laughs> that you were clever. To tell her, I was, I was clever to tell her about it, and yeah. then she said, "Well, you know what? It's actually not about you. It's about me. I want <laughs> you on the course, so please borrow the money so I can have you on the course. So it's a win-win. Yeah, but but also the clever thing was that expressing that she could tell her, tell me, tell her, tell me her expectations. Um, she didn't have any." Um, yeah. Also, I, I said to her, "Well, you know, um, I just don't want to be caught up in a feeling of now I'm going out to buy, for instance, a new car." And she would be sitting there thinking, "I have Damn, got she's got money. a new car. She could at least have given me some amount." And she was like, "You know what? If you just pay me within five years, I'm good." There are there are not many people like that. No, there aren't. So really, really grateful. But also in the beginning, really, really concerned and a bit scared because yeah. what are her expectations? Yeah. So communication. So cool. Eh? So mm. actually, mm. she is she was doing something good from her heart without okay. expectations. Yes. And because of the communication mm. you decided to have with her. Mm hmm. You got clarity and she got clarity and yeah. it's just you arranged things. Exactly. And and we know how what our expectations is. Um so there's nothing hidden, there's nothing, there's there's no surprises, there's just yeah. pure love actually, because it came from a good heart and she knew that I would appreciate it and it's just but imagine Amazing, a person yeah? that you've just gotten to know back in, I think it was in August. But we yeah. did have a lot of con conversations during the yeah, week. And that's a you, connection. You, yeah, but also, you know, um, don't forget that the course that you did mm. is very intense. Yeah. And you rely on each other. We do. So we do. in that respect, um, yeah. it's not that that weird actually no no but there's also a, a greater connection um some of the other study groups are fine and good and we all have a good connection on the course but it's like we were only two they were four but but even before we began it was like we just we understood click, each other we clicked. connected yeah 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 so um yeah. So, so would I'm it be really different quick. if someone if someone else would um 
yeah do that this kind of act of service one mm. someone else of the group would you have then still done it or would you have said well thank you very much for the offer i but i i just can't is it because maybe. you had the, the the connection with her maybe i would it depends on who and and it's because i would like to feel at least content with it and not feel a bit anxious about the expectations yeah um, but with her i know when she says what she said when she said what she said that she meant it um, yeah so, so we it's it's all good and i'm not even she'll get her money uh, but i'm not going yeah. to stress about it yeah. because i know that she meant what she said so yeah indeed indeed Mm. yeah i'm just thinking of um of things like that that's kind of it i think it does it does make a difference if someone that you have a close connection to um does good for yeah. you yeah or if someone else does good for you I don't know which one is more valuable, um, actually, but yeah, because the person you you have a great connection with, you might expect that that person would be doing it. But if a total stranger came up and did it, you would be more grateful because yeah, you didn't see that one coming. No, you <laughs> no no not at all. Indeed, true. You true. know this this um candle holder thing i don't know the word yeah i that same woman this weekend came up to me with a present uh, with that candle thing in it um and some chocolates because i gave her and her two friends free coupons for food for five days Oh, but it was free coupons. I, the, yeah, I but... didn't pay anything. I didn't do anything other than give them the coupons so that they could contact the company and get the food. Yeah. But they were just so appreciative that they, they wanted to give me a present for having that thought um, and doing it. That's beautiful. But, huh? yeah, but does... yeah, you know, that's that is the exchange of love, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, but it didn't have to. No. I was just happy that I could share the coupon. Cu uh, you know, coupons, coupons. Q, I want to say Q and not Q. I don't know <laughs> well, which is right, but I just wanted to share them and make someone happy so that they could yeah. have some food which were delicious and. And they gave me a present for something that I didn't even <laughs> have to pay for. So that no, was unexpected. That's cool. Yeah. Because I think, yeah, that's most of the time. It's just the, the thought that counts. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, apparently. So if you would do good mm. for someone mm. and wouldn't expect anything in return, but the person re receiving the good was would expect something that he that they need to to do something in return and is eager to do something in return how would you feel about that mm, i think i would think of that person kind of like what we described earlier that that person would be someone who gave people things because they wanted something in return. So that person yeah. would be doing the same. I want to give you something in return. Because that's what you do. Um, I don't know if it would. It could give a feeling of. Not really taking it in. Not really appreciating the gift or the act of service. Mm -hmm. Because they're too busy having that appreciation themselves because they want to be the one doing it. but it doesn't have to be like that it could also just 
be because they're just so excited and happy and they want to do the same um, yeah. in an act of love. I don't know. It depends on the person, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I was just Both. going to say hmm, that's actually quite difficult because it does depend on the person S persons oh. yeah true so yeah, sorry no 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 don't because i just said the one person before but I, I just realized that i could be sitting here thinking oh she's just doing it she's just giving me something in return because she wants to be valued or you could be thinking the opposite or yeah. you could both think so it's it depends on who you are yeah, that's true. It's persons. Could could we just why don't we just receive presents and be happy about it and gifts and services instead of thinking, what's your agenda? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Is it because we're not used to it or is it because we're used to people expecting things from us when they I do? think I think the latter. I think yeah. we're used to people expecting something from us when they give us something. Yeah. But well, you know, I was just thinking about it, eh? Because we have in in the US you have this uh secret Santa thing and yeah. we have secret Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas mm -hmm. is like a, a holy man who has who comes with his his uh, um, his crew, and they give presents to children that have been good all year. Yeah, and he's got got ears and eyes everywhere. Yes, but okay, secret Santa Claus. When you are of an age that you don't believe in the man anymore, usually what we do is you. Are you telling me there's no? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> did I drop the bomb Spoiler on alert. you? Spoiler alert! <laughs> oh, Anna, you have to should... you have to uh, tell people that you're going to spoil something. What if they have children listening <laughs> or adults? <laughs> yeah. <Sorry>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> God. Anyways, <laughs> you put you do the secret Santa Claus thing, um, just to to get some presents as well. But there, we are taught that if you put your name into a a head and someone picks it out, you'll get a a gift. But you have to give something back as well, because mm. you're doing it's, that person does good. For to you, they give you gifts, so you do have to give a gift back. Or it's is that not a bad thing? No, it's not a bad. No, no, no. I don't say it's a bad thing, but I no, do no, say no. that maybe we can, we can, um, we are taught when we are younger yeah. that this is how it works. Yeah, you give something good, you... and then you get something good. Yeah, I get it. Um, but it, it could also be that. Why do I have to give her something? I don't even like her. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. And what if you receive a present and you don't, you don't want it? Well, well, what you do when you when you put your name in, you write a little list of things that you would like to have, so that people know what to buy for you. Yeah, your wish list. But I'm talking that... in general. In general, That's what if I really came to you true. and gave you a book or a sweater and you didn't like it or you didn't need it? Are you then allowed to say thank you, but no thanks? Or no. Are you no, obligated it doesn't work to take that it? way. You are obliged to take it. Unless... I'm talking in general. In general. Not anything related to Christmas. Ooh. Well, actually, I think, in my opinion, you you should be able to say, thank you, I really appreciate the offer, but uh, I'm good. I, I don't want it. Exactly. Because, yeah, I've had one of those. Because if it's not to be offensive, but it's to be 
this is not my type of clothing. Um, I already have the book. I've read it. It's not for me. Um, I'm going to pay for my own trip to go somewhere or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you can get yourself into a situation where the person who are giving you the gift will be offended because the person has been taking time and really want to do it from and with love. So when you decline that, they feel like you don't love them. You don't appreciate it. That is, do you do have a point. But you do. I would think if I were to say thank you for this lovely cup. I have one already, but I'm going to take it because I want a set. But I have a set of 12. I don't need a 13th. But I'm going to accept it because I don't want to hurt her feelings. But the cup goes in the trash or the cup goes back all the way back in the closet then the present really doesn't give me the joy that I would need or the one who gave it to me so yeah. I would rather be honest and say I, I appreciate it but or it, can I have it exchanged or something because that's energy yeah yeah because also giving uh, taking it when you don't actually don't need it or don't want to have it yeah but why? that is bad that is for in my opinion it is it's negative energy yeah but and you're giving that to someone. the person yeah yeah but yeah, i but would you rather know, be honest and and yeah. i would feel like i would hurt them more if i exactly. didn't use the gift exactly yeah. oh hmm. well you hit the spot there because a friend of mine, years, like a long time ago. Yeah. Very long time ago. Way she back gave before me, I was born. Almost, yeah. Well, nah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> she gave me those, actually they're quite cute, Moroccan uh, coffee or, yeah, coffee yeah. glasses. Yeah. Blue with a golden with golden um decoration on it. And they're beautiful. Yeah. I have never ever used them. I just indeed put them in the cupboard somewhere. Yeah. I know where they are, but And yeah. you are not throwing them out because it was a present. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But could you contact her and say, you know what? I love them, but I realized I'm never using them. Do you want them back? So that they could be appreciated um, more or be used or... I don't know. That's delicate. Yeah. Oh, because they are not Moroccan. I think they're Bulgarian because she's from Bulgaria. Ooh. And she, yeah, yeah she's, a very, she's a very warm, loving person. So, in this mm. case, I would rather see if I can find some use for them. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe I can put some flowers in there. Maybe. Or like can. small plants. Or make a decoration or something somewhere. Yes. If, if you really enjoy looking at them, but you're just not using them. Well, um, then I would, I would definitely live on my own without dogs and cats. <laughs> So that's not going to happen. That's a long you know shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but it is it is fragile because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but you don't want to yeah. have a disc or a drawer or something filled with things you're never using because no indeed. Like indeed. It. Oh gosh. I would rather people tell me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. Even though it, it might be a feeling of damn, I didn't hit, I didn't get it right. I I thought I had it right. I but yeah. I yeah. would get over that and just well I hope. <laughs> no one knew about it. <laughs> yeah, it's always good talking about it yeah. and and then <laughs> until you you are in the position yourself that that exactly. someone says, Hey, uh, sorry, <laughs> I don't mm. like your gift. 
girl. But, but there's many ways to put it. Many ways to put it. You don't have to say, "Oh, it's too dark. I don't want it." Just say, "Well, <laughs> it's not. It's that color is not really for me. Can I have the receipt so I can go and change it to something else?" Yeah. I think also as a child, we were brought up to say, "Just say thank you for the present." Yeah. And then when we get home, we could talk to our parents and they go, yeah, I know you don't like it, but you know, she bought it and we'll just, mm. but why? But that's why exactly. Put on that face. Yeah. Mm, put on you. the mask. Put and on everyone the mask. could tell she doesn't like it, but thank yeah. you. I hated it. Yeah. Same here. Same here. It's brother. the same. It's the same with... Um... I don't know how it's in Denmark, but here when you you meet uh, your family or uh, good friends, you you kiss each other on the cheek three times. We don't. Well, we're we not do. as we're not as cold as the British, but we're kind of in between. <laughs> You're in between. Yeah, we hug. Yeah. Well, hugging is good. Yeah. Well, we 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 used to have to um, kiss our our family members. Well, it's just on the it's on the cheek, but but you if know, you don't want to, if you don't like it, yeah, that was yeah. not going to happen. Yeah. We had no, to because we'll that was it. polite. Yeah, cross your boundaries. Go and, do something you don't like. And then my uncle, um, my. Grandma was in hospital and um, she has had a dog. And my uncle went with me to walk the dog on the parking lot of the hospital. And he said, "Give me a, can you give me a kiss? Mm -hmm. I was 11 or 12 and I was like, can you give you? Yeah, I can give you a kiss. So on his cheek. And then he said, no, a real kiss. And I was like, real? what is a real kiss? Yeah. Um, he French kissed me. Ew. I didn't even know what French kissing was. And everybody could see it. And I felt so unbelievably yucky. Um, and, but from that moment onwards, I never had him kiss me and not even on my cheeks and my parents didn't understand and I didn't tell them until I was 18 because I okay. thought if I tell them now nobody's going to believe me because he's the adult and I'm the child yeah. and yeah so I didn't tell anybody oh. um mm. but for me what was the point that I was making We were talking about saying no to presents. Also oh yeah, because and and then saying no to do. saying no to to um, getting a a welcome kiss or a goodbye mm. kiss from. Mm. I just I just refused and yeah yeah they thought it was just me being uh, being a, a teenager and they let it slip and you know but. That was the first time that I really stood up and said, "No way! I'm just yeah, this good for you. is that." That was the first time I I had my boundaries. Yeah, because it could have got, it could have gone the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really didn't want that. So that's also horrible. What a jerk! Dick, huh? Yeah, yeah. Also that. Yeah, yeah. But but it is well we hug most people hug when they know each other in their mind. Yeah. Some don't. I'm not. I'm a big hugger um, when it comes to my kids and my husband. But during COVID, I realized that I'm not really that much of a hugger with with other people or with no. I just like oh, yeah. well okay then let's just do it. But it's I'm. I might seem like I'm outgoing and but I'm also kind of I like my own space space. Yeah. But yeah. My children when they were younger, well, go hug your grandma goodbye. 
And sometimes, especially my son, didn't want to. And I was like, well, you don't have to. But other families, it's like, well, oh, come on. Don't you want to? Come on, give your grandmother a hug. And yeah, it's, like, it's your grandma. Yeah, but why can't a person have their own right to say, I don't feel like it right now. I don't like it. I don't, I'm not in a mood or you smell or something. Why isn't it allowed to say, yeah. not today? No, indeed. Because they feel like they don't like them. They don't want them. They don't. Yeah. It's nothing to yeah, do and with it's, them. And that's the feeling of the other party. It's yeah. not the feeling of no. the child or of, of us. Yeah. And the feeling of being rejected, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not being loved. Not being... So... Yeah. Does that also have to do with doing good? Is that you would love, mm. maybe not knowingly, but then it, it's also uh, um, a way to be not to feel, to not feel rejected. <laughs> to not feel rejected. Yeah, I think so. I'm 90% certain that that's why. Yeah. If I take that case i have in my mind then it's it has all to do with that yeah um low self-esteem um I like a confidence you. and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you so, rejecting me no i'm just protecting my own space not from you but from from energies actually from other people's energies yeah i think <gasps> that's it that's actually and a that's good kind of one. Clever. And it's clever. Yes. And that might be why, especially children, tend to just beg off because they yeah. feel it. Yeah. And every time that we say... <laughs> I'm clever. <laughs> You're so clever. You're this so clever. <laughs> you had an epiphany. <laughs> I do. No, but actually, every yeah. time that a grown up says to a child, "Ah, come on, don't yeah. don't be like that. It's your grand, mm -hmm. it's your uncle, or whatever. Just do it because mm -hmm. it's it, we always do that, and it's mm -hmm. just polite, and you should." And so you teach them not to to um, guard their their energy and not yeah. to trust their energy. Self respect. Um yeah um yeah believing in their own feelings and and thoughts and which are connected and then being told to do an action that are not um in line with what you feel and think yeah is it's it's kind of what's the word it's abuse um it's mental yeah. and physical abuse and yeah. I might get a lot of people who are not agreeing with me, but I feel like that's the thing. If you tell people to do something that they don't it's like. It's emotional. It's, it is. It's emotional abuse. Yeah. Yeah. True. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm also sitting with that. But there's also a line because sometimes... As a kindergarten teacher, sometimes children are being told to do things they don't want to. And they have to do it. And often I don't like telling them that they have to do it. But in that context, it's necessary for the... Yeah, for the day to, structure, to work, for the, for the structure to, to yeah. Um, also, sometimes we tell them to do things that they have to do because of their own safety or because of um, because we want to raise um, children to be adults who work will not only work in jobs but function well in society. Yeah. Um, so where's the line? Oh, that's another subject because that's a big one. Uh, Maybe for next week. Yeah, I think it's. Write difficult. it down. Write it down. In 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 which notebook? 
Oh yeah. Oh well, we'll ha we'll have it on we'll have we'll have it on video so we can remember. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Mm, back to boundaries and yeah. rejection. Yeah. Well, this was a good one. This, this entire. Was yeah. I think. We missed the 11, 11, 20, 20, 20, 22, but still, I love this. 20, 20. <laughs> this has nothing to do with with the topic that we discussed now. So no, we'll, just, we'll just leave it at this. Yeah. Because that's, uh, I think we, this is a good, good place to. Um, I agree. To stop and to think about it some more. Mm-hmm. If you have some suggestions, or maybe if you if you don't agree with us, or if you do agree, that's also nice to to hear. Yeah. Or if you have so, other examples of. Yeah, maybe we we Something. definitely missed out on some some examples that we could have used as well. Yeah. yeah. So, we're here to learn. We're here to serve. We're here to learn. Exactly. Oh. Yes. yes yes so remember to like subscribe share and hit no don't hit it click the button. click click the button. <laughs> click the button and why should you click the bell button so that you get notifications when our podcast is published yes you don't want to miss it i know no nope. we're awesome so don't miss anything. <laughs> Indeed, we yeah. are. We are, dear. We are. So, all right. Take care. Take care. Next week. Bye.